hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a pin mail opening video for you guys for those who don't know i collect disney pins there's a whole community for them um so i actually got some pin mail both trades that i have made as well as pins that i have bought so we're gonna open them up i think i have seven packages i usually open them all on the spot the minute i get them but i wanted to make a video for you guys to see what type of mail i get that is pin related so i have seven packages the ones that are trades i know this one's a trade so let's see what it is don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so this i traded away a sailor moon pin for a princess on the frog pin um so they included the pin along with some candy so i got a lococha sandia candy and then i have i got three pink starbursts i got a mashup pin this is tiana from princess and the frog as obviously she's a waitress in the movie but if you guys don't know there is also a musical named waitress there's also a movie named waitress that movie is so good you guys should go check it out so this is tiana as the character from waitress so this is the pin so this is an ellie of 60 so there's only 60 of them out there and it's the musical masterpieces series there is another one of these of her in her yellow dress which is an le 15 or le 20. i have it i bought it um from the shop drop that happened a while ago um this one i had made a trade for it so i was waiting on the sailor moon pin to come in hand that way we could exchange our pins so this one is beautiful i am so happy i traded for it the creator of this pin is pin it on magic i will leave their user right here they also have a website i'm pretty sure it's pin it on magic.com but don't quote me on that you guys can check out his Instagram. He does pre-sales every now and then. I'm not too sure how often anymore because he hasn't been that active as of late. But his website, I believe it should be stocked up and should be open. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. So that was the first pin. And also fun fact, um, every mail that I get, I save the bubble mailer to reuse it. And I save the bubble wrap. To reuse it because bubble wrap isn't that recyclable so if i can reuse it i will and that's why i do the same thing with bubble mailers so after this i will have seven new bubble mailers that i can reuse for future sales and trades so this one i don't know which pin this is oh okay this one i bought so this pin if you guys haven't checked out the walking dead it's an amazing show very gory if you don't like gory i would not recommend it but i love the show me and julio have been binge watching it we actually finished it until they come out with more seasons on netflix but this creator oh i should probably say the creator her username on Instagram is kickrocks underscore to the pinister. I'll leave their Instagram handle right here. That way you guys can check them out. But this pin is Tiana as Michonne from the show. I think it came out beautiful. And the blood right here, it glows in the dark, which is really, really cool. So um, I got that. Obviously, you can tell I collect Princess and the Frog in different forms because that is my favorite princess. This package is from a good friend of mine, Rylan. He actually did a trade with me about a year ago. So the pins finally came in, so we were able to do the trade. So his user is at the Disney Monster. I've mentioned him before in previous videos. He is the absolute best, so you guys should go check him out. This pin is his 2019 Halloween anniversary pin. So this pin includes Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph with Casper. So this is the pin. So it is Vanellope as the little girl from Casper with Casper. And this is the Halloween 2019 special edition. So 
that's his back stamp. I am a completist in his Disney Monster series. So this is one of the pins from that series. I'll probably do another video on it. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys would like to see that because I have a four foot tall board filled with my Disney horror pins. And I was lucky because that board usually goes for $180 and I found it on Facebook Marketplace for $30. And I'm five feet tall, so that board is almost as tall as me. This pin is also from Rylan, but this one I bought. This one is from his profile series. He has his main Disney Monster series, and he has his Disney Monster profile series. So this pin is from that series. So this one is probably one of my favorite mashups that he's come up with, which is Ariel as Pennywise. So it's a profile and it's her as Pennywise holding a bloody fork and you guys can tell the difference in size. So his pins are not small at all and these are super thick. Like you can see the thickness of the pin. It is double layer, pin on pin. So this one came out super nice and I'm so excited to be collecting these. Next, I got one from um, Boogeyman Pins, which is another creator. I will leave their info on the screen so you guys can go check them out. This one, he's been doing a lot of Stitch mashups as other characters. So this one is Stitch as Beast from Beauty and the Beast. So it's this one right here. This one is an LE50, and this one is actually a trader. So when I bought this pin, I didn't have it in hand yet, so I made a pre-trade. So now since I have the pin in hand, I can go ahead and contact the person and let them know. That way we can exchange addresses and complete our trade. Next package is... I don't know. I think this... I bought a couple pins off of eBay because the, these pins, they were released at a convention a couple years ago. And I wanted the pins so bad and I couldn't find them for a decent price because when they first released, somebody on eBay had them listed each for $200. And when I show you guys the size of these pins, they are not worth $200. So I was not gonna spend that much on them so i waited until the prices started to go down and then i would see them for like 150 and then uh, sometime in the past few months i saw them go for 75 each which obviously is a lot better but that's still 150 dollars if i wanted both what i did was i waited and waited and waited and last week i found them on ebay for 20 dollars each but it was $20 or best offer. So I offered $15 each one and they accepted the offer. So I got both of these for 30, with shipping, like $36 for both of them. So it's these right here. It's the other mother and Coraline as dolls. And I've been wanting them for so long. Like they're really tiny pins. I have one Coraline pin that is by a now known scammer. Her user is Deviant Fantasy. So I will leave her information on the screen. That way you guys can avoid her because she has sold thousands of dollars worth of pins and stolen a l hundreds of thousands from people with these pins so she made a Coraline pin and it's probably as big as my face it's huge and I really 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 wanted it so I bought it and that's probably I love Coraline but I don't want to start a whole collection for her so that's the only pin I have of her currently but I wanted to get these because it's like her as a doll but these have locks on it I don't know how to remove these Ugh, I'll figure it out but yeah, so I really wanted those and I think that would actually complete my my collection with having them as dolls and then having the big pin of Coraline. 
if you guys want to check that out i made a video talking about all of my pin collections and i do show my Coraline pin so if you guys want to check that out it is on my channel i will also link it here somewhere that way you guys can check it out this is my last package that i received and i know what this one is i made a bulk trade for this meaning this pin is a higher value a very high value <laughs> And what I did was I traded a bunch of smaller valued pins for this pin. So I think I traded around at least 10 different pins, low value, for this one. So this one is Catnap. So this one is um, Shere Khan from Jungle Book. It was released at the D23 convention. This uh, series is the catnap series. I did show a few of them in my pin collection video. I think I had two at that time, but now I have like five or six of the pins now because I was able to acquire a lot of them through trade. There are 21 catnaps total in the series and I have made trades for 11 of them. So I am more than halfway there. So I'm really, really hoping to be a completist in this series because I love cats and these cats are sleeping, which is something cats do. And also my dad says I was a cat in the prior life because I act like a cat. I love to sleep. And because of that, I actually got a tattoo. It's hard to see. I got a tattoo of a cat and that is its nose, not its eye. A lot of people think that it has, it's a cat with one eye, but no, it's its nose. It has no eyes, it's a silhouette. But yeah, so these are the pins that I got in my pin haul. Let's see if I can hold them all because I don't want to drop them. These are the pins that I got in my pin haul. So I have my Princess and the Frog pins. Yes, their skin tones are different. Don't ask me why. Some creators have a harder time with her skin tone than others, which is kind of annoying. And then I got my Disney Monster Mail. And then I got my Coraline pins. And then I got my catnap and my stitch um, beast pin. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below which pin that I opened that you guys like. Leave down any comments on pin stuff because I'd love to do a Q&A on pins if you guys would like that with like all the basic information on pins because there is a lot. To talk about give this video a big thumbs up if you guys haven't already i hope you guys are subscribed because i am doing another giveaway at 500 subscribers this giveaway will be for 50 dollars and a smaller in-hand prize that i have not come up with yet but i will soon thank you guys to those who are subscribed and have helped me reach my goal of 400 i hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night and i will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.